My name is Shannon Lorio. Uh, originally born and raised right here in South Georgia. It's basically a quiet area. Everybody kind of sticks to themselves. The roads are real curvy, windy, and there's a lot of woods. Me and my husband had had a really bad argument. I was angry. In the area where I was driving, we call it NASCAR Road. People have a tendency to speed on that road. And I was speeding. I was going really fast. I turned on to Dunn Road, where it's really windy and curvy. Took the first curve, no problems. And I come into the second curve, the car fishtailed. It took me from the driver's seat and throwed me out the back glass. The next thing I remember was when I came to on um, the back of my car. My bottom part of my body was laying in the back seat and the, my torso area was catty corner up onto the back of the trunk. And I wasn't quite sure what had happened, what was going on, I just knew I was in a lot of pain because of the way my car went in, anybody coming wouldn't have saved me. I don't know how long I had been out before I had came to, but <laughs> I remember when I did come to, I felt this huge presence. I could feel his breath. The dog, I didn't know, I don't know him from Adam's house cat, never seen him. I don't know if he was making his rounds, if he was headed back to his original owner. I don't know, but he come across me and I thank God that he did. He had jumped up onto the back of the car and he was up there where I was at. And my face was bleeding and um, he began to lick my face. And the next time I had came to, he had had me turned around and had me halfway off the car. He was pulling me off the back of my car. He had me by my shirt and by my jacket and he was tugging and pulling he literally tugged and he pulled. He wouldn't give up. That dog had more. He had more thrive for life at that point than I did. And he drug me from this area down from right here. He drug me up to the edge of the road there. When he got me up there to the edge of the road, I thought, I've got to stand up. And I reached up there and I wrapped my arms around his neck and I pulled myself up. And that was the first time I stood up. It was a vehicle. I couldn't tell you if it was a car, if it was a truck, but they stopped. And when they stopped, I leaned down into the vehicle and I said, I just wrecked my car. Will you please call my husband? And I must have passed back out again because I woke up in the hospital. And I remember seeing a doctor standing at the opening of my doorway. She said, Shannon, she said, you've got a intracranial brain hemorrhage and you're bleeding. You, you got a small bleed in the brain. They're waiting to see what it is you're going to do, you know, if you only have to have surgery or not. Luckily, I didn't. And I came home and I recovered here at the house. This dog, he did everything. He's an amazing animal. He really is. I honestly believe in my heart that if he hadn't have, I, I probably wouldn't even be here today. I really wouldn't. I think I honestly, I would have died. I really do. And that's, I'm glad I didn't. <laughs>are training him for wilderness right now and he's doing it really really well as he found Shannon he loves to run the woods and find anybody we place in the woods he is so excited that oh I found him and he'll come bolting back to me we hope to by the end of the year have him certified so that he is mission ready my ultimate goal I'd really love to see him as a urban search and rescue dog when there's a collapsed building or Katrina these dogs were taught to go into crashed buildings and find people who are still alive. That's what he needs to do. He saved my life without any training. And to think of what he could do with the right amount of training, he could be saving many more lives. Personally, I think all dogs are heroes. I'm sure that to Shannon, he was the greatest thing in the world. And I told him, I said, you'll always be my hero. That's what everybody started to call him. And that's how he got his name, Hero. <laughs>